Hello everyone, welcome to week 16 of my 100 week art challenge. My name is Michael and I used to be an engineer. For the past two years, I've been self-teaching art. I created this 100 week art challenge to document the process of me exploring my personal artistic voice. Similar to last week, this week I worked on more paintings using acrylics. And other than abstract paintings, I also painted an impressionistic sunset landscape based on the Golden Gardens Park in Seattle. I was absolutely taken away by how beautiful the sunset was and the colors perfectly harmonized through a red-blue-yellow triadic color scheme, which is what I used in my paintings last week. Before I studied and implemented the color theory, I never paid much attention to how nature could have effortlessly produced such beautiful color palettes right in front of us. From this landscape painting, I was inspired to make this abstract painting using similar colors and composition. This third painting is 12 by 12 inch, and I basically used the leftover colors on my palette, and without any planning or reference, it came to be from free movement of my brushes, and I like how minimalistic and relaxing it looks. Talking about minimalism, I first adopted a minimalistic mindset of living a few years ago. I downsized quite a bit and got rid of a ton of things that didn't bring me joy. It provided a great sense of mental clarity, control, and stress relief. I was never a big spender, so it was less about not buying things and more about getting comfortable with letting things go. Fast forward several years later, now I realize that when it comes to art, I also have a problem of overcomplicating things and not letting go. As mentioned in my earlier videos, for the longest time I only cared about intricate representational art, until I decided to incorporate more freedom and expression in my paintings. I began experimenting with abstract art. Now I realized that there was actually something more that's mentally holding me back. I had always been subconsciously drawn to pain, because I thought that was what I had to go through in order to be excellent, to be worthwhile, to be meaningful. After all, that's what I was taught all my life. Everything must be a challenge and life is supposed to be hard. I only appreciated and only produced intricate artworks that showed years and years of practice using complicated tools and theories. I completely ignored artworks that looked simple and effortless. After years of studying art, I finally began questioning why I liked painting as a kid in the first place and what my paintings are for. With all honesty, they have been time-consuming, joyless, difficult, and I wanted to impress other people with my virtuosity, hard work, and dedication. The irony is that only few people cared, and I was miserable. Even with abstract painting, I bought all sorts of tools and mediums because I secretly believed that if it's not complicated and difficult enough, it would not be good enough. I recently sold a few of my practice paintings featured in my previous videos, to my surprise, the ones sold were often the most effortless ones. They are simple and expressive, as if the audience could feel the positive energy behind them. I began to think, perhaps it's a great idea to ditch the old inhibitions and instead paint for joy, paint for expression and paint for releasing stress in this crazy modern world, not adding more to it. Perhaps as an extra benefit, using extremely simple colors and tools, creating minimalist paintings that take little time, I can inspire more people to start painting and express their creativity, self-identity, and regain a sense of control in their busy and stressful lives. I'm planning to spend a bit more time to figure out how to bring minimalism to my paintings, my painting process, and my overall artistic philosophy. The past week, I've also continued reading business and marketing books to better clarify this minimalist idea. I'm quite excited about what the future holds. As for this week's painting time lapse, I'm going to show this one painting. I hope you would find it enjoyable and helpful. If you are interested in any of the paintings I completed this week, please check out more information on my website at michaelandart.com. Thank you for tuning in for the 16th week of my 100 week art challenge. Please give this video a thumbs up and comment below with any questions or advice. To follow the journey of me finding my personal artistic voice through this 100 week art challenge, please subscribe to my channel. Please also share this video to people who might benefit from my experience and exploration. Thank you and have a wonderful one. I will see you next week.